We all know Cliff Burton over here. Everyone, hi Cliff, how you doing? Greetings everyone and welcome to the crib. We're here today, we're paying tribute to another legend. Some might say the greatest of all time. The Super 7's Ultimate Cliff Burton from Metallica. Hi Cliff, how you doing? <laughs> Bro, two weeks in a row, two Super 7 Ultimates that I've been waiting for. God, how good was Lemmy? How good is Cliff Burton gonna be? If he's anything like Lemmy, this, this figure's gonna knock it out of the freaking water. Who is Cliff Burton, for those that don't know? Cliff Burton was Metallica's bass player. Cliff Burton, born in 1962, was Metallica's bass player for the first three albums. You got Kill 'Em All, Ride the Lightning, and Master of Puppets. Arguably considered their best three albums, and I am on that side. Shout out to Injustice for All, though. Unfortunately, in 1986, while Metallica was touring in Sweden on the Master of Puppets tour, Cliff Burton was killed in a bus accident. He was thrown from their tour bus after he hit a patch of black ice, and he was crushed by the bus. Cliff would not live to see the heights that Metallica reached after his death. And some say Metallica was never as good once Cliff did perish. I disagree with that, but that's a story for another freaking day. Let's get into this figure. Bro, check out the freaking packaging. If y'all don't know what a battle jacket is, I, I, I had planned on doing a video on them. I've got two of them myself and I'm planning a third. I'm sewing patches up on Brent's jacket. I, this is just such a cool, like the stains right here, the patch that says Burton, the tears, the buttons. This is such cool packaging. I planned on having a battle jacket video at some point, but we'll get around to it. So let's take the slip off. Bro, are you freaking kidding me? Look at this, the ride the lightning motif on this freaking box. Look at the artwork of Cliff Burton. If you want to read it, pause it now. Proceeds will benefit the Cliff Burton Scholarship Fund. How sick is that? Bro, this is a badass figure. The freaking Misfit T-shirt? God damn it, this is another one of these freaking figures I'm going to have to have three of. So does this Cliff Burton figure live up to the Cliff Burton legacy? Or is this just another thing that should not be? Like I always say, that's enough chit-chat. Let's get him open. And here we have the legend Cliff Burton out of the packaging. And I was right. Another fantastic figure from Super 7. Bro, I need a James Hetfield. I need a Kirk Hammett. I need a Jason Newstead and Robert Trujillo. I need them all. I need legendary musicians of all sorts. Of the heavy metal variety, of course. But I need more of these freaking figures. These are so sick. Cliff Burton decked out in the all denim. The freaking Misfit t-shirt, bro. Are you serious? Super 7 has the license for Misfits. So they slap that logo on his t-shirt? God, man, it's a perfect freaking fig. Oh, spoilers. Oh. Oh. Let's get into Cliff Burton's accessories. And then we will get into Cliff himself. And here we have Cliff Burton's accessories. Let's start with the head sculpts. We got the sick ass neutral face. God, Cliff Burton, what a freaking animal, what a beast. It's a great head sculpt. Looks just like Cliff Burton. Pencil mustache, long hair, awesome. We got the head banging Cliff, got the gritty teeth. Look at the details on that, that is fantastic. And then his mop of hair. Once that man started head banging, he, he turned into nothing but hair. And then we have a whooshy, yelly Cliff. Hair looks fantastic. Mouth looks great. Can even see the taste buds on it, damn it. I think it looks fantastic. The Kill 'em All Mallet. An absolutely fantastic piece to go with Cliff. Cliff's face. The Aria Pro 2. Aria SB1000 Pro 2 to be exact. This is the black and gold. Cliff played this bass on the Master of Puppets tour. The last bass that Cliff played 
upon his death. They get sick as hell that they've even got the Aria Pro 2 name on the headstock. Gold tuners, gold tuning pegs, and the gold bridge. One pickup, volume, and control knob. Sorry, guitar nerd bullshit again. Very sick, very cool. Uh, would have been cool if it came with his red Rickenbacker as well, but I'll take the Aria Pro 2. Very sick. And then finally, his hands. We got the bass plucking fingers hand, because he didn't play with a pick. Fretting hand, note clips rings, two relaxed hands, two open hands for holding that mallet, two fists in reference to this picture, and my favorite, the middle fucking fingers. So now that we got Cliff's accessories out of the way, let's get into Cliff himself. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold sets up. And here is the legend Cliff Burton. This is an absolutely fantastic figure. Let's get more in depth. Let's get his sick ass face out of the way. Here we go, Cliff Burton. Head sculpt looks great, jacket looks great, pants look great, got the denim going on everywhere. This light denim, Scratches really easily. Got this bullshit mark right here. I think I might have dropped him or something got on him. And it is not coming off. But that's okay. Just be careful with that. Um, got the Misfit t-shirt on. Like I said, super freaking cool. That Super 7 has the licensing to put that logo on there. That is so cool. Cliff Burton actually introduced Metallica to the Misfits. He's a massive fan of them. He's got a Crimson Ghost skull on his shoulder right here as well. Jacket looks great. With the white dry brushing in there, super sick. The rip in the knee, the sick ass cowboy boots, just like Lemmy. Single jointed knees, single jointed arms, no biggie. Cliff's not gonna be doing no super sick anime poses. He just needs a middle finger and articulation to play his freaking bass. <laughs> Figure is absolutely sick as hell. We need more of these. I gotta have a James Hetfield ultimate. Shit, Tom Araya, Kerry King, Ozzy Osbourne, Zach Wilde, Dimebag Daryl. How sick would those be, man? Let's do some comparison. See the guy in Metallica, he always has your shirt on. And no one ever represented us better than Cliff Burton. Here we have Cliff up next to our last review, the Super 7 Ultimates. Lemmy, these are two heavy metal gods. May they rest in peace. You asshole. Another Super 7 Ultimates, Papa Emeritus 2. Papa Emeritus 2. And the McFarlane Toys, James Hetfield. Lord, it'd be great to see these two back together. All know Cliff Burton over here. Everyone, hi Cliff, how you doing? And here we have Cliff back together with all the boys of Metallica. Once again, it's an absolute tragedy what, what happened to Cliff. They were, at the, they were at the cusp of becoming the greatest metal band that ever of all time at the time of his death. And it's a damn shame he never got to see the heights that they reached. Granted, I think that if he had stayed alive, that trajectory might have been different. But nonetheless, Cliff Burton is a legend and a god of heavy metal. With that being said, I give the Super 7 Ultimates Cliff Burton the rating of... You insane? Did you hear nothing I said? Buy another one, Morty. Consume, Morty. Where's your fucking wallet? Riff in peace, brother. Next time!